Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to Interstage Window, my Saturday stream. And today we are going to be doing our Stardew Valley finale. So we've been playing Stardew Valley as a community for quite a while. And today is going to be our last episode of Stardew Valley. I do believe Landon is joining me, though she's not quite here yet. Um, but that's okay. So <laughs> goals for this stream is to get me, um, get my character married to Shane. Okay, which should happen because I proposed and everything last episode. Um, and we're going to try to finish the community center. I think we only have like one item left. So we just thought like it's the end of the year. We'll start a new game next year. Um, it would be really good to do like a finale, a finale for our last uh, community day stream this year. Oh, 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 there we go. There she is. Okay, I can see it loading. Hello, Landon. Hello. Sorry, hey. I'm running a little bit late. That is okay. That is okay. Let me um make sure. Oh, wrong thing. Hang on. There we go. Okay, now y'all will be able to to say hello to Landon and know and see her highlighted when she's talking if anyone else does join us today. Yeah, I hadn't even clicked play on the game yet. I'm clicking play right now so I can get you the thing okay. to get in, Landon. Perfect. Yeah, we just Thank started. You. I appreciate it. I was, I was, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was playing Planet Zoo and I got really into it and I looked up and I went, oh, oh, I'm supposed to be playing a different game right now. <gasps> Kitty, so... Kitty, I'm so sorry. I had thought you told me you were busy, so I didn't post it for you. Ah, Landon, can, well, actually, maybe I can do it while the game is loading. I can do it. I can okay, okay. Yeah. Can you post the, the Zoom link in the farmer chat? Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry, Kitty. I thought you had previously told me you were not available. That is totally my bad. I get, must have remembered it wrong. So I did not do my due diligence and make sure you had the Zoom link. Posted it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We co-op... Okay, there we go. So everybody should be able to see the game in just a moment. Okay, there we go. Oh, the chat box is in a weird spot. Hang on, let me fix that. There, okay, chat box is good now. Do you want me to post the invite code too? Yeah, that would be good once I get in. Yeah, once you have it. Oh, what's happening? Stardew? Stardew? It's doing, it's doing a Windows not responding. What's happening? <gasps> Kitty! Hello. Hello, I'm so sorry. That's my bad. I don't remember if I said I was or wasn't, but I did have an event today that got canceled. So I was like, oh, community day. Oh, perfect. They canceled it for us. They said, you know what? Kitty doesn't need to go to this. She can go and do Stardew <laughs> instead. <laughs> All right, I posted the code in the Twitch chat, Landon. If you could copy that over into the Discord, that would be awesome. Okay, yes, um, we are getting married to Shane in two days on Sunday the 28th. And then for our community center, all we need is the red cabbage, and I think we're growing one. So we should close. totally be able to finish everything. Sorry, Kitty, what were you saying? Oh, I said so close. That we're so it. close. We're so close. Let's see. Where is the red cabbage we were growing? I think we have like three farms and a greenhouse at this point. Yeah. I can't remember where we put it. I'm trying to find it and make sure that we have that growing. Cauliflower, coffee beans, strawberries, blueberries, pepper, rice. Okay, it's not in the greenhouse. I'm in the far left north, and I don't see it up here either. Okay, we might, maybe we never did get one, and we're waiting for um, summer to roll around so Pierre has them. But then once we plant them, we can just blitz. 
through right. the days and do it. Because I'm not. I don't know how long it takes to grow. I don't remember. Thunder. Takes me a second to remember the controls. I know, right? Every time. <laughs> Every time. Takes me a second, too. So, Landon, you have been obsessed with Planet Zoo lately. Is that what is that what I'm hearing? Oh, yes. Yes? Yes. It, I, I was obsessed with the Zoo Tycoon as a child. Yes. And now it just has, you know, continued. There are supposedly worse things to be obsessed with, I suppose. Oh, yeah. I'm sure there are. Is that like Sim City, but for zoos? Yes, you build a zoo. Uh, and you, there's a whole bunch of other things, too. You have to, like, keep in mind, like, what animals can go together and which can't. And, um, like, it's a, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty intense sometimes where I'm just like, what is happening? You have to also, like, keep up with guest satisfaction and stuff. It's a lot of fun. I do vaguely remember playing Zoo Tycoon as a kid because I had a period where I was really obsessed with that too. And you could put like predator and prey animals like together oh, yeah. in, in the things and they would eat each other. <laughs> they absolutely will. Or the wrong, I put a Bengal tiger and a Siberian tiger on accident together Oh no! the other day. And that did not go well. Oh no, those poor tigers. Poor they did not want to live together, huh? They did not. <laughs> Real Housewives drama. <laughs> Truly. Um, the, the guy in the cart doesn't have anything we need. I was kind of hoping. Yeah, boo. We could have got it a few days early. Do we need what do, do we need maple syrup for anything? I know we need oak resin to build more kegs, but I can't remember if we we're saving our maple syrup. The only thing I remember I is so. there's a quest with the bear that you will eventually need it. Okay. Got it. I'm just selling it then, the one I grabbed. I'm gonna go to Robin and see if we have anything she can build us. Because for some reason I have stone and wood in my pockets, which makes me think that I was going to have her build something for us. Standing in the cellar? I don't think you could do that. No, we have the cellar. We got that last time. I think it was upgrading our barn. Oh, we need a bit, I need a bit more wood. I, I kind of remember this now, like we needed a goat or, or something. We just bought a goat. Uh, too young to milk still. And we don't have pigs yet, right? Cause we have to have the biggest barn for that. Yes. Okay. So that was it. So I need, I have 520 wood in my pocket right now. I need 550, so I need to get some more wood. I'm pretty sure that's what I was doing when we ended last time, was chopping wood. That makes sense. There's, uh, the, that's hardwood, never mind. What is the next game we're playing? Did we decide okay. it? Yes, we have decided. Okay, so we can say the next game we are playing is called Sunhaven, um, which is, it's, I mean, it's basically like Stardew Valley. It's still a farming sim, but in addition to being a farming sim, it is like literally an RPG with a story and everything. Um, and it works a little bit differently. So when you join, at least this is my understanding, we'll find out when we start playing together. Um, when you join someone else's like Sunhaven, 
It's like you have your character, so you could play your character on their own farm as well as in like the community one. So like the benefit that I see there is that if you miss uh, joining us on a community day, but you want to still level your person a bit as if you were there, you can totally do that. Like you have the freedom to. I love that. I love it that It sounded too. really great. Yeah. And I think really the only downside is like you can uh, level ahead and unlock stuff that we haven't unlocked in the community farm and it'll like jack things up like I read some comments about that um, But they're updating this game all the time So who knows if that's how it will work when when you know, we start it next year All right, I have enough wood now when does Robin close it does she close at 4 p.m. I think so Okay, boo. I missed her today then I'll get her tomorrow. At five. Most days. Oh, she goes at five? Mm -hmm. Robin, Dimitri, Sebastian. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I'm booking it. I'm booking it. Zoom in. You can make it. And I believe in you. Don't close, Robin. Hello, Alpha Tiff. How are you doing? This is our Stardew Valley finale. This is our, our community day that we've been playing on and off for, gosh, two years now? Yeah, it's been a while for this one. Yeah. Okay, I just barely made it. She started to walk away <laughs> when I clicked. You're like, no, don't do it. But I'm, I'm in the select a big barn to, up, to upgrade screen, so hopefully this works. There we go. Heck yeah. Okay, sweet. Yeah, this is our finale, Alpha Tiff. We are we're gonna fin try to finish the community center today, um, and uh, and the real finale is uh, my character getting married to Shane. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll get to see his lovely um, stank ass room he adds to the house. <laughs> <laughs> I feel lost, so I'm just foraging. I'm fishing, so that's what we do. <laughs> Forage and fish. I'll give Harvey all his last kisses. Yeah, you gotta you gotta say goodbye to him. Say, Harvey, I can only see you in my personal game from now on. I'll have to <laughs> hang out with other version of Harvey. An alternate universe, Harvey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have been down bad for Harvey the whole time, but when I beat the game in my personal game, I just started romancing everybody just to see what the different romancing was. And when I found out Sebastian had a motorcycle, I was so mad. <laughs> like, oh, you wish you had known him. that sooner? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> mood like he's a good he's like basically my second choice i like him a lot hey i got an eel Ooh. nice They still haven't discovered how they mate or where they mate. No, they're still searching. They know vaguely where it is, but they've never found it. Aliens, that's what I think. There's a <laughs> secret secret eel cave that takes them to another dimension, right? Yep. I think that's so real. <laughs> Eels and octopus, I think, were, you know, the first aliens to make contact. And Probably. they just liked it here better. <laughs> yeah. I could see it. It's pretty cool here, you know, for the most part. It's gotten kind of crazy lately, but you know. It's a recycler. We have a thing that turns the uh, geoids into whatever. I don't remember. The thing that oh, breaks no, them up. Oh, no, you 
you have to, you would have to take those to the guy in town. The blacksmith. Yeah, the blacksmith, and get him to crack them. Your bed. Oh, it's ten o'clock. Probably go to bed. Bye, guys. Fished too hard. You coming to the slumber party, or are you going in your own? All the cool kids are in the big cabin. No, oh, well, <laughs> I will go to the big cabin then. <laughs> I was over at the beach, so wait for you me can for make a second. It. Oh, oh, that's I'm, another. I... Yep. Yeah. You're good. Go ahead. I was just gonna say, oh, I'm fine. We're good. We got hours to go. <laughs> well, yeah. So when I was testing Sunhaven, that was another. That was something that threw me. So I wanted to just play it just to make sure it would be a good game for us, you know, but not get too far. But something that was really throwing me was the cutoff time is midnight in that game <laughs> instead of two a.m. Oh, no. <laughs> and I was so used to Stardew, I kept like messing up. <laughs> Which is like, by the way, so much more realistic for farmers. I don't know a single farmer who's like, you know what, two a.m. is a good time to stay awake till. I think it has more to do with like. The, um, the amount of time that Stardew gives you in a day than anything else. I didn't want to sleep bed. in the kitty bed. <laughs> I didn't know where I could sleep. I haven't had a sleepover here yet. There we go. You the children it. who never close their eyes. Oh, terrifying. It's Emily's birthday today. Oh, happy birthday, Emily. <laughs> we, we have to go find her and tell her happy birthday. Let's see, do I have a gift for Emily? No, but I have lots of junk we can sell. Hmm. Oh, here's a battery. Stairs. The stairs? Yeah, it's a hundred rocks, right? Uh, yes. I think so. Usually, I go to the desert and I trade them for jades. There's a certain day that you can trade jades for stairs. So I'm not 100% sure how many rocks it is to make them. Can we make... Quills in it or the feathers in it, anything? I don't think so. Okay. I think they're just a good gift for Elliot. Okay. He loves nature. Emily, I'm coming. I'm bringing you a flower for your birthday. That's a song, right? Flowers for Emily. <gasps> Is it? I have to see now. We made it a song. Oh, a rose for Emily. Oh, a rose for Emily? Well, this is close. It's a daffodil. I got a scene. She's sleeping. Oh, this is the trippy, like, in her mind. I was gonna say, is that the whole thing? No, she's sleeping, and then you go into her dream, and she's, like, meditating in her dream. Why are you here? Well, Emily, I don't know. Wish Wasn't you a my happy choice. birthday. 
I was just trying to, yeah, I was just trying to tell you happy birthday. And now I'm in your mind prison. This is because you did drugs with the wizard. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't remember. I guess that means I definitely did do drugs. That's how you know. That's how they get you. Oh, she questioned my existence and I disappeared out of her dream. So I've got something really lame to tell you guys. Tell me. Oh no. I got a I got a Christmas gift. I got a I got an old lady Christmas gift and I'm excited yeah. about it. What I was got the old lady a new Roomba that also mops. And oh my god. I can't wait. I'm gonna try it after stream. I can't wait to try it and see like how the mopping does and if it if the mopping like works well. Um we're gonna find out. You'll need to tell me because I really want a Roomba. And if that if that also mops, that'd be a lifesaver. Yeah, I mean I love my Roomba. I love my Roomba so much. Oh, another Emily scene. Um, but this one act all mops also. Oh, I got the this one with the colorful birds. And I've never had a Roomba that also mops. I have no idea how good the mopping robots do. But even if the mopping doesn't do very well, this one is particularly cool because like it connects um, to Alexa and stuff, so you can app control turning it on instead of having to go push the button. So it's like extra super lazy. It's awesome. Oh, that's amazing. I think I saw the video for that. It like dumps its own water and everything. What? No, this thing doesn't dump its own water. That would be so cool though. That would be really cool. Wonder if I can get away with trash. It's a little bit far away. <laughs> it's so Damn funny because I can see you doing the trash on my screen, but I'm in a cutscene with Emily. <laughs> 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 Mind Sam your business with Ashley. Yeah, oh, it's, yeah, Sam. Tell Sam to mind his business. Must be nice that your family's alive. <laughs> Oh, I forgot we have a dinosaur. We do! We have it's a dinosaur. You should lay dinosaur eggs. I don't think we've gotten dinosaur eggs yet. He's just a baby. Oh, I see. Well, whenever we get one, we'll give it to the museum, and then the rest we can make mayo with. Do I not have the recipe for sashimi? Project. How have, not... How have I not learned that yet? I thought you learned it on Ginger Island. Oh no, that's taro soup. Yeah, yeah, that's that's ta the taro stuff. No, I have um, maki rolls and not sashimi. Well, dang, I was gonna give Pierre his sashimi, but I guess not. No sashimi for you, Pierre. I don't like you anyway. <laughs> Who does like Pierre? Nobody. Nobody likes Pierre. So Caroline? Name. Caroline? Oh, yeah, I guess she kind of does. <laughs> I couldn't remember if it was his daughter or his wife. No, Caroline's his wife. So you're right. The purple hair girl with the impossible game is their daughter. Abigail. Yeah. The oh, one that's actually Abigail. the wizard's daughter, right? Yeah. Is she? I love no, that. No, that's just a fan theory. 
I'm here for it. Sam and Sebastian look really similar, too. I kind of wonder if they have the same dad. Mm-hmm. Oh, my parsnip. Yeah, it's funny how similar certain um, Stardew Valley characters look. <laughs> We have uh, pale ale brewing in, is that right? Does uh, I don't think we have any pale ale brewing right now. Cause I don't, I don't see any, um, it's wheat, right? Or is mm. it hops? I think it's hops. Okay, no, there's no hops down here. I'm looking at our like kegs and stuff in the basement. So I'm pretty sure no, we do not right now. I don't think we ever grew any hops. He's gonna try to finish that Pam quest. Yeah. Yeah, I think we gotta grow some hops for that. Yes. Wait a second. I cannot remember where our where are all of our things that we're brewing. It's down in the basement, go in the main house. And then go downstairs, which is to the left. Got you. Thank and you. if you put the stuff that you want to either turn into like jam or wine or whatever into In the, thing. the chest there, it'll do its, do its thing. Perfect. It said we sold 58, so we must have had it at some point. Oh, I guess we just never kept it. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I mean, hops is summer, so. Oop, I saw worms. Okay. I'll come to bed. I'm just fishing up trash. I did. <laughs> All right, tomorrow is the fateful day, you guys. So excited. I'm so excited, too. Shane's going to be so happy to see me in exactly the normal clothes I always wear. <laughs> <laughs> You should get a hat from the kitten. That's all. It's too late now. Do we have other hats? I have the, the straw hat on from beating um Haley at the egg thing. Oh, yeah. That's the other true. one I have is the sailor's cap. I guess I could wear the sailor's cap since it's white. I think you should wear a sailor's cap. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to put on the sailor's cap. All right, let's get a good night's sleep before the wedding. <laughs> Year two. That's a good amount of time to have yeah. an engagement. Yep. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's the wedding. What's the funniest thing about the weddings in Stardew Valley is if you get divorced and then get married to someone else, the person you divorce doesn't show up to the wedding. That is hilarious. Oh. I see you guys there. You're right there in the back. Oh, God. Oh. 
I Yay. love Shane. Mwah. Oh. Everyone party. Oh my gosh. What a great choice with the sailor cap. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you guys steered me in that direction. It looks really good. I look like a formal farmer. Oh, life's going to be different from now on. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Thank you, Alpha Tiff. Thank you. Shane, my love, you can live with me. You don't have to work at the JoJo Mart anymore if you don't want to. Yeah. We're about to destroy it together. Soon. Join our side. <laughs> and I there he goes. See. He hangs out on the porch all day long now. Wow. Great Where house he belongs. material. <laughs> I, you're, I'm busy. Can't you tell? No, I can't tell. Shane, believe it or not. Oh, yeah. He told me to leave me alone. Okay. Hey, uh, Karen. Shane's What's kind up? of an ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault that you didn't um take the time to get to know him and build up hearts with him he's just very <gasps> shy hey, okay? we have dino egg. yay we have dino egg take that to the museum see he's nice to me he's like the wedding was wonderful wasn't it dear <clears throat> yes it was his room is so messy <laughs> i know and look we get this cute little like chicken coop in the back for his blue chickens he has blue chickens? Yeah, so. you can buy, you can get blue chickens if you um, are good with Shane when you buy chickens. So we can try to buy, buy a blue chicken. Yeah, this is his room. It's full of um, beer and video games. There's footprints from the fridge. Yeah, because why would he ever need to walk anywhere else but to the fridge to get more beer? Lucky Duh. lunch today. <laughs> Don't forget to watch TV. Mm-hmm. Exactly. The spirits are happy because of the wedding. Aww, that's nice. Go spirits. Oh. He doesn't like Jojo Soda. No, he hates Jojo. He works there and he hates it. Like every retail service member I know. Yeah. <laughs> nothing, nothing will make you hate your favorite store like working there. But that wasn't true for Sephora. No, you like Sephora even worth working there? Yeah, because I worked there overnights for a Christmas season a long time ago. And so I didn't have to deal with customers or wearing five layers of makeup. Oh. And I still got all the free stuff they give their employees. Nice. That is nice. That is those are those are perks that I would like. Yeah, that would be really cool. Because I, I, I was trying to imagine, like, I don't think I would like working at Sephora because you can't ever go in on a no makeup day. Like, you have to put on full makeup because it's like a beauty store, you know? Mm -hmm. That's the workaround. Do the Christmas overnights. Oh, right, we did have a, a dinosaur chicken. egg in there. Okay. We do have a dinosaur egg, you said? Yeah. In, in the library. Oh, we already do. Okay. Well, yeah. then we can turn him into mayo. Mm -hmm. 20 do that. mayos. Oh, no, wait. The 20 mayos is when you get a ostrich. Yeah. You can get an ostrich? You can tell that I haven't played through this game. <laughs> yeah, eventually you can. It's like late game when you get to the other island. Okay, I, I thought I ostrich. could just like keep keep trying it over and over again to purchase a chicken and it would eventually give me different colors, but I keep getting the white over and over, no never any brown ones and not the blue one. Oh, now it says brown. I think I have to fully leave the leave her house. Okay. Um Lunar, hello. Hey, Lunar, how are you feeling? Lunar was um sick yesterday, you guys. She was supposed oh, to stream, man. but it didn't happen cuz she was sick. Oh, oh, she's man. feeling better. I hope you're feeling better too, Lunar. Tell us how you're doing.
Okay, you definitely, yeah, you gotta walk out of her house. That's what does it. Now I am getting the different colors. Not, not a blue yet, but... I'm feeling much better still, a little icky, but overall much better. That's good. I'm glad it's better, even if it's not fully better yet. Are you streaming today or day day off today too? <clears throat> you have to be feeling good that Taylor is Times Woman of the Year. <gasps> yes, I saw that. Oh my god, and I thought of um of you, Landon, and, and Lunar. <laughs> Yes, I will be streaming today. Okay, good. So yeah, you're so you're definitely feeling better then. That's awesome. Yeah, what did you think about that, Landon Taylor getting Person of the Year? I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, I don't think anyone could like have a conversation. <clears throat> Excuse me, without like bringing her up. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> She's been everywhere, so I'm just like, yeah, checks out. She has been. As it should be, Taylor is queen, of course. <laughs> I just thought it was funny when I saw her. I was like, yeah, she's been getting a lot of attention this year, but like she hasn't done anything that she doesn't normally do. She's just been getting a lot of attention, mostly because of the new person that she's dating and then the Eras tour being so successful. But I went and I looked mean, at like the short list of people, and I don't know who the heck else you would have chosen off that short list, like maybe Barbie. Um, but that was it. Like a lot of the other choices, like Xi Jinping was on there and like other politicians and stuff that also haven't really done anything outside of what they normally do this year. I don't know. Well, it was like, not, so to, I was like oh, okay. not to, not to be a Swifty, but she did raise the United States economy $5.7 billion this year. Good for her. Like, so what? So still, what? You still, know what I mean? It's a good accomplishment. I she mean, also completely changed the movie industry because she released her movie true on her too. Own without going through a production company, showing people that you don't have to have a third party. I do people love that. Mm -hmm. I do love that. But, you know, of course, anybody that's super rich could do that. Just encouraging, you know, them to, I suppose. To but do. she did it, <laughs> whereas others chose not to do it. That's true. Like cowards. <laughs> Thank you for the howl, Lunar. Thank you for the howl. Yeah, ain't nobody gonna tell Taylor Swift what to do. Um, it also was my absolute favorite to have all the really like old, manly, grumpy men in my family. Oh my god! Watching football, going, oh, I can't, I can't pick the Chiefs today. Taylor's not there. That was hilarious. <laughs> uh, every time the Chiefs were on, it's like, oh, we got to go watch the Taylor game now. <laughs> I, as someone who doesn't care about football i cared about football for half a second and that was <laughs> cool uh that was so funny good times good times oh my god give me a freaking blue chicken oh and she's gone well no blue chicken today i tried i took the weekend week wednesday off for her birthday Ooh. lunar literally it's amazing how much you love taylor swift I want to I want to love something as much as you love Taylor Swift. <laughs> I didn't think I liked her as much as I did. I knew I liked her. But when I got my Spotify rap, she was my number one artist. And I was like, what? Yeah, she was on my list this year, too. I spent um, I spent a lot of time listening to to Taylor this year with the new album and all of the um, Taylor versions of uh, of older songs, too. Mm -hmm. She was my list. Of course, she was. <laughs> She and Renee that's Rapp funny. were my list. That's that's basically it. Yeah. I was like, wow. We really embraced lesbianism this year. Taylor Swift <laughs> and Renee Rapp. Doja Cat was also on there for me because I got really obsessed with um, Paint the Town Red. Mm. That's funny. That was a good song. <laughs> hey, Eminem. Hey, Eminem. How's it going? Yeah, I like that song a lot. I happened to be by the train already, and it's one of the supply ones. Oh, see if you get anything. Wood, coal, copper. That's it. Look, I married Shane, you guys. Eminem and uh, and Lunar. Look, see, we give, we do hugs, Bruh, I wish I was six inches taller and a whole lot smarter. You're good the way you are, Shane. Don't stress. You're beautiful. <laughs> My whole list. In the game. I believe you. <laughs> Sorry, Kitty. Go ahead. Oh, I was just saying he is shorter than you in the game. I didn't notice till. Yeah, he's like, he's a short boy. That's part of his hang up. 
there's a wedding ring recipe that's there is and you can get a wedding dress and like there's actual like stuff that you can do but i it it's annoying so i don't usually bother unless i've done like a lot of other stuff in the game already with all the different clothing recipes i like to marry sebastian that's a good choice one of the best mm-hmm Kitty, have you married everyone at this point in your personal file? Um, almost. I can't remember who I haven't married. But I'm pretty down there. Um, I think I still have to marry Penny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's usually the the ones I'm the last ones for me were like Penny and Leah. I don't know, they just didn't Leah. interest me as much, so it took me forever to get interested in doing their marriage stuff. Leah has some good cutscenes. She does, she does, but before, I hadn't seen them, because I didn't really, like, I wasn't, like, understanding her vibe, but, like, once I saw the cutscenes, I was like, oh, I should have liked her sooner. I got some resin. All right, first thing we got to do the next day is go buy our red cabbage seed and some and plant it with some uh, speedy grow. Okay. Do we have what speedy are we... grow? Probably. Or you can buy it, right? Mm-hmm, you can buy it. Well, we probably have some. What are we doing with our strawberries? We making jam out of them? Yeah. Yeah, if you put them down in the basement, they'll become either jam or wine. Okay. Just a late night jam. Okay. okay, Jane. Or, uh, Shane, just stare into the fire. <laughs> Yeah, we have um, Deluxe Speed Grow in the chest that's right outside the main house. Oh. Wow, kitty blocking me. There we go. Oh, was I? Oh, I'm wait, not, no. no I was landing. It's Shane. Shane is... <laughs> He's in the slumber party. <laughs> I now suddenly don't want to be in the slumber party. <laughs> wow. Don't hate land him. Don't hate. If he was no, blonde, he would be into it. <laughs> Probably, but he's not, so. <laughs> Good morning, Shane. Sunny all day. Happy today. Oh, nice. All right, I'm gonna go stalk outside the store to get our uh, uh, red cabbage. I'll clear a nice little area to make. Sweet. So yeah, if any of y'all watching want to get in on these community days next year, it'll be a new game. So if you didn't hear us talking about it earlier, it's called Sunhaven. So you want to download that and I will be posting the schedule. And also community days will now be the whole four hours of stream. And there's no pressure to stay the whole four hours. But that way, some of you guys that like to come pop in later, um, you don't have to show up so early as noon. Uh, but yeah, and I think it's 10 people max on that game for uh, multiplayer. So we have lots of space. I wonder if it's 10 different people each time if you wanted to, or if it's like this one where once you have a file, you've got a file. 
From what I've read, I don't think it does, because it doesn't tie your character to that farm. Because you can play That's your character cool. on multiple multiple farms, like your own personal one, as well as different multiplayer ones. From what I'm looking, what I've looked at in the comments of people doing multiplayer. Ooh, can't sell any of that. Sorry. I said I can't sell any. I thought I could sell my shoes. Oh yeah, no. You you have to trash them, and uh, the only way to make money is if you have like the upgraded trash can. All right, where are you? Red cabbage. Got it. It's all coming together. That's right. It says it takes nine days to mature, so when we do it with the speed grow, it'll be something less than that. Dope. Ooh, limestone. Oh, this looks beautiful. Landon, you cleared this out for us? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay, here we go. I'll put our beautiful cabbage in the middle. Okay, six days. Six days. That's how long we have to play, and then we will do community. finish the community center. We can speed through days, too, if we ever get close yeah. to time. Yeah, if we get close uh... to time, we'll speed through some days. <clears throat> Ooh, I can do hops now. Oh, yay! Oh, I remember what I was going to do today. I walked right past it, totally forgetting. I'm going to try again to find a blue chicken. There's a deluxe speed grow, too. That's what I used. Oh, okay. It's just all still in my bags. <laughs> I took the whole stack. Did you want it? Oh, no, I just... Um, I thought you said you got the speed grow, regular speed grow. Oh, no, I used deluxe. Where is... Landon's um... stalking me. I am. <laughs> oh, they're at the yoga today, aren't they? Oh no, maybe not. Where the heck is the um? What's her face that sells the animals? Is she closed today? I guess she's closed. She's not behind the counter. I don't know. Whatever. She does work on Monday and Tuesday? Oh, does not work on Monday and Tuesday. Okay. Well, on Wednesday, I'll roll for more chickens then. Oh, there she is. Hey, open your shop. Marnie, that's her name, right? Yeah, Marnie. Oh. Go my memory. Marnie, go open your shop. I gotta follow her. But I bet she's just gonna go in and stare at the microwave. Probably. That true. Yep, yep, she's headed to the kitchen. Oh, Marnie. Time to stare at the microwave for two hours, I guess. <laughs> As you have to do once a week. I want to believe she, like, thinks there's a health benefit. <laughs> hey, I was trying to talk to you, not do the garbage, dude. Jesus. Don't be ashamed. This Perfectly can't be natural. good for your brain. <laughs> you, Maybe you're not ashamed, Kitty, but I'm not a garbage digger eating garbage bread and garbage <laughs> cookies, okay? I'm just saying. They taste just as good, and they make great gifts. 
If only the people knew that you were getting their bread and cookies out of the garbage. If only. We have some great animal names. Snickle Fritz. That's a great name. We, we're doing that? We did that? Yeah. Wow. Go us. <laughs> I think we named one of the chickens Nugget. I remember, vaguely remember that. I forgot that Willie was shirtless in the summer in my clothing mod. And he just walked by me, and I was a little bit startled by his, uh, by his <laughs> pixel chest. <laughs> that was my name choice, Nugget. Okay, yeah, yeah, I did vaguely remember we named a chicken Nugget. You kind of got to. Mm-hmm. Gotta have Nugget, yeah. Strip, Tender, Sandwich. Wing. Ooh, wing, yeah. Hot dog and bologna, sorry. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> That's kind of like, um, my family has a farm, and every year we name it, we name the pigs bacon and sausage. I mean, what you gonna do? You have to. Got it. Do we need rocks for anything? Mm-mm. Can I no. make stairs? Yes, there are yeah, so many rocks. Stairs, yeah. Since this is the finale, it's really just like fuck around other than doing the um getting the red cabbage at this point. So y'all can do whatever you want, sell whatever you want, it don't matter. Whatever you feel like doing. Fantastic. I wanna do this gold cavern quest. Yeah, go for it. Do you are you just trying to make twenty five stairs basically? And mm -hmm. just speed down there? Yep. If anybody else has to do it, you can use my stairs with me. Yeah, I have it. Tell me when you're going and I'll go with you. Okay. I'll go whenever you're ready. Oh, okay. Like, Landon, do you have that quest? Do you want to... I do not have that quest. I am still on the mayor's shorts and that's the only quest I have. Oh, actually, I think the bus is closed for the day. Yeah, right? it's too late today. But we can go tomorrow. We'll water our cabbage and then we'll head down. Yeah. Do do zoomies down the stairs. So, Kitty, I can't remember the answer to this. Did you ever play um, World of Warcraft? Because I'm obsessed again. I have not played. Okay. I'm I was trying, trying to, to remember, like, somebody said they played, like, a little bit, and I couldn't remember who that was. Like, back in the day, they had played a little bit. I think someone got me to download it once, but I never even made a character. <laughs> wow. They must have not been that convincing if you went to that much trouble and didn't make a character. Well, I found out it cost money, and I was like, oh. Oh, yeah, 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 that's true. Monthly fee. But you get a lot out of it. I think if I would have played, I would have. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, you can sink a gajillion hours into it, so it's not like you don't get your money's worth. I just forgot what I was doing. Uh oh. It's because we couldn't go to Skull Cavern, right? Yes. You're playing WoW though. Oh yeah. How is how's the new game? Okay, so the season one of just discovery. came out, right? Yeah, season of discovery. Um, it's amazing. It's 
they have like they have like tiered level caps. So right now the level cap is only twenty five, and um, I've I'm already twenty five and have like half of the gear that I need. Um, that's the best in slot until raid, and I'm gonna raid on Monday and. I'm playing like every day. Like I'm obsessed. I can't stop. It's like so good. It feels just like it did playing originally when the game came out in like 2008. So is WoW one of the games that you play with other people like yes. live? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's MMO. So it's other people and there's like there's guilds and stuff just like in all those type of games. Gotcha. So yes, 100%. I am I think slowly. Go ahead. I was going to say, it's probably nice that it's really active right now because you're able to ask everybody for help. Yeah, exactly. Like, there's so many people playing, so you can just really do anything um, because you don't have to worry about, like, not being able to uh, get groups for stuff. But if you've ever played that type of game, you know the pain of if you end up on a dead server or something, like, how awful that is. I've been slowly but surely getting into more and more video games recently. Thus I've the seen. like, you know, Planet Planet Zoo and uh I did I did a run through of um oh my gosh, what is it called? The Last of Us. Oh I played, really? I played the whole I played the whole thing. Oh my god. Um, that's so that's so I really, I I've never known you to actually like finish a game like that. No, I really, really liked that. I really liked the like RP g kind of game mm -hmm. um where i could like there isn't an open world where i was like oh there's a story and write answers and i need to figure that out mm. so i'm trying yes. to find more games like that that are also not like super gamey like super you know you need to be really a fan of gaming to be a fan of so so you're still getting your feet wet so you don't want anything that requires too much background knowledge yes yeah. Where I was like, man, I'd really love the concept of like Zelda, but I feel like Zelda has been around so long that I'm not sure I could just hop into it and enjoy it. You probably w could if you wanted to do one of the older ones. You'd probably need to start with like an N64 or like an, a Super Nintendo Zelda so that you could mm -hmm. kind of understand some of the background because excuse me i hear what you're saying um although the newest ones that the newest zeldas that they have made are completely different really than other zeldas the the new switch ones both of them so if you wanted to hop into those it's a, it was completely new to everybody really well i do not have a switch i just have the, my pc so oh, that's that true. Way so you'd have to emulate them anyway so you'd have to go with older ones yeah Yeah, I think the first Zelda game I really played as a kid was like Ocarina of Time. But yeah, so if anyone has any recs, that's what I'm doing with my life recently. Well, if you want stuff that's like story driven in the sense of like there are right answers, um, uh, all most of the Final Fantasy games are like that. They okay. they don't really they have like a long story before you ever get to any open world for the most part if they even have an open world which not all of them do. Maybe I shall check that out. I'm trying to um, think of other ones that don't have too much open world that you would have to get lost wandering. I'm not sure how open world it is, but my husband is playing Disco Elysium, and. Every time he tells me about this game, it sounds so insane. And I walk by and I, it, it's weird in a fun way. It, you wake up, you're a cop in a hotel room. You have no idea what your name is or where you've been or what you're doing. And you're old and decrepit and weird. And you have to figure out what's why you're being framed for murder. Oh, um, that's interesting. That could be something. Yeah. And you hear voices. Oh, even worse. I love that. And that one is like a straight up RPG, I'm pretty sure. Like, there's no open world element. It's just puzzles and dialogue, right? Yes. 
I will admit, I do like the shooting part of it. The shooting game is fun part of it, too. <laughs> of the Land last in frames of, us, of I violence. Like, I was like, <laughs> I like shooting these things, and I like figuring out how to be sneaky. <laughs> you know what you might really like, then, Landon? You might like some of the like more horror kind of games, like Silent Hill or Resident Evil. There are some things like mm. that. I'll have to maybe check those out. I have heard of Resident Evil. Mm-hmm. But yes, that is what I've been doing with my time. That and Planet Zoo. So much Planet Zoo. Well, I need to try Planet Zoo because if you're obsessed with Zoo Tycoon and you love Planet Zoo, then I think I would probably love Planet Zoo because I also had a Zoo Tycoon phase, you know? Yeah, no, it is. It is Zoo Tycoon, but like for... But like modern, more, right? So it's like modern. more features and, then, and all that. And then if you like like the decorating part of The Sims... Mm -hmm. um you can definitely get into like landscape and terrain and looking making things like look realistic and mm. it's it can it, there are different levels and different things and then there's like um open world mode where you don't have any goals but there's also like a goal mode where you, there are certain games and certain goals that you have to reach and so it's oh. like really fun so just like zoo tycoon there's a sandbox and it is yeah version. yes and then there's um and then their sandbox mission career is what they call it. And then they are also franchise, which is mm. the one that's like dependent on like money and making sure that your scores are good and stuff like that. Oh, okay. So actually making your zoo profitable. Yeah. So Well, I might have to I might have to get that at some point. Next time I'm craving a new sim. Yes. Do you want to go to the desert? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, my God. What the heck was I? I was like fishing, just chit chatting away. Completely forgot we were going to the desert this morning. The heck? Well, I'm we have plenty back. of time. I'll go to the desert with y'all. Yeah, come come with us. We'll traverse the skull cavern. I hope that I don't get ill because I forgot to bring food. I, I have two yet, fish. I have a fish and a mushroom. <laughs> we're, we're, we're set. We got this. <laughs> or we'll Thank all die and it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for the lurk, Lunar. You gotta go buy a ticket, Landon. There Don't you tell go. me what to do. Okay, I won't. Don't buy a ticket then. Don't come to the desert. <laughs> oh, wait. I can eat these cactuses. Oh, and a coconut. Oh, there was a coconut. There's no I more. Picked, I picked no it coconut. up. Wow. There's, there's more, me. though. There's, like, all over here. It's Cactuses fine. You hate me. It's true. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> you you were right all along. I think Kitty picked up all the other coconuts, so... It, I just got Coconut. cactuses. Oh, there's a treasure chest here. Oh, there's food in here. I'll just take this. Yeah, I that. get it. And then you could, there's granola bars and stuff in there, Landon. Oh, oh, nice. Amazing. Okay. You ready to go in? Is everybody in? Yep. Uh, Let's go. Ish. Hold on, let me... Ah, there's a mummy. <laughs> we don't have Landon. weapons, do we? I have a axe. Yeah, that's what I have to do. I have a- there's an obsidian sword in the thing, and I have one. Okay. Are you not in the same- are you down already, or are you not in the same one as us? Where's the- which one are you trying to go into? Did we you went go down. into the door? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now, but I'm saying in this chest that there was food. There's also oh, a shit. sword. Oh, mm. here we go. Okay, time to go down the stairs. Go, go, go. Everybody. Ah, okay. I'm dying. Stairs. I'm... Help stairs. me down the stairs. <laughs> Stairs. 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 Run, run, run. Stairs. Stairs. <laughs> <laughs> this is so ridiculous. <laughs> we got this, we got this. Kitty's so speedy with the stairs. Oh no, run, run, run. Oh, I gotta be quick, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna accidentally two-stair. Yeah, I know. 
So I have exactly 25. Oh. I see. We're so close. We are. All our, our little feet, our little feet uh, ah, sound effects. Oh, oh no. Scared. It's we'll okay. It's one big one right here. Hold on. <laughs> Do this one. Okay, there oh, we go. I'm so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, we did it. We oh, did it. Oh, we did oh. it. Yeah. Journal updated. Sweet. Oh, yay. Now we can... If we die, we die. Yeah, so now it's okay. Teamwork makes Definitely gonna work. die, though, because I don't have no weapon. Yep. As soon we're as just, the snake comes We're just pure explorers. <laughs> oh, here's a, here we go. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Run! Oh, no. Oh, no. It's it's time to go. Bye. I ah, bailed. that's an actual dude. I bailed. I ran away. Sorry. Oh, I, I love my life more than my friends. Oh, no. Poor Landon. Leave the mine. Okay, I left. Ooh, that was intense. Did you make it out? I made it out. Okay. I left some silver behind on. Made me sad. Boo. Sacrifices must be made, though. All right, where do you turn you... this quest into? Oh, you don't turn this one in, do you? No, you don't. Okay. You just do what you yeah. get money. All right. Sorry, Landon. Okay, I need to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Not feeling so good. <laughs> uh, I'm bleeding actively. <laughs> I'm gonna go sleep in the big bed, okay, guys? Okay. <laughs> Just a normal bed on the farm. Or a normal day on the farm. We'll, we'll lay with you. It's okay if you bleed on the bed a little bit. <laughs> Shane, Thanks. we're going to bed, but Landon's bleeding, so, um, you know, you do you tonight. <laughs> didn't even go up in combat. Oh, I didn't. You did? No, oh. nothing. Beer or cider? Sometimes life can be challenging. I understand, Shane. That's a tough choice. It's six twenty in the morning. <laughs> he can't help. He has thoughts. <laughs> Maybe he needs apple cider. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Maybe, but he doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, now I have the go 25 levels. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. It's okay. No, oh, thanks for watering my flowers. Oh, you're welcome. Look, our cauliflower, I mean our cabbage, Jesus. Our cabbage is coming along. It's only got four days left. Go us. You're doing amazing. Let's see if they sell amaranth. I don't I don't know what season that is. Uh, I can't remember. Fall. Oh, it's Wednesday. I can try again for a blue chicken. And wear pink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a plus. <laughs> It's Wednesday every day for me. Can I milk you today? Not me. <laughs> Why not, Kitty? Um, only on Tuesdays. 
<laughs> and now it's Wednesday! A shame! <laughs> Will all the stairs still be there? No. No. Damn. If it was they the same day, I think. One day. So they disappear. I've misplaced my hose somewhere. I saw one in um, the chest that was outside of the greenhouse. Perhaps that is where I put it. Nope, just a scythe. Oh, my bad. I thought it was a hoe, but now that you say that, I do think it was a scythe that I saw. You want to borrow one? I've got mine on me. I'm at Marnie's. I do not need it. Okay. It was just I was reorganizing. Oh, and you realized you hadn't a hoe anymore? Yeah. Okay, I know the blue chickens are not this rare. The heck. What's happening? Tomorrow's a little girl birthday. Oh, really? The one that hates everybody? Mm-hmm. We'll have to go say happy birthday to her. What you doing here, Mr. Mayor? He's here hitting up Marnie like we don't know. Don't forget your pants. <laughs> he will. <laughs> But what did he wear out? Or did he walk home in his underwear? That's the question. <laughs> he ran from bush to bush in his underwear. I always assumed the purple pants were not really pants and they were underwear, but they were using pants the way a British person does. Oh. And so like, he put his pants back on without putting on his underwear. That makes more sense. Fair. That checks out. Okay, I'm starting to wonder about this quest for a blue chicken. If I don't get one today, maybe I should do something else instead. Whoa, oh, what just happened? More. I forgot to open my mail from finishing the quest. <gasps> oh, okay. Oh, that was from the quest. Okay. So now you can buy as many chickens as you want. Yay! Well, I only want a blue one, and it keeps giving me white and brown, so... I guess I could buy a pig while I'm here so that we have one of those. Do it. Here you go, Piggy, in your new home. What should his name be? Um, A cab. <laughs> a cab. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, it's done. <laughs> there isn't a better name than that. 
that was so good. I don't know what I was expecting, but so not seamless. that. so seamless. Yeah. Like, that's the other thing, too, is just seamlessly said. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. <clears throat> ah, she walked away again, and it's a white chicken. Okay. Well, dang. Hi, Penny. You're very depressing. Yeah. And the blue chickens are rare, but I feel like I'm getting unlucky. Hey, Jess. I'm gonna come see you for your birthday tomorrow. Chickens get blue color randomly instead of brown white after purchasing. Just buy a few chickens and there will be blue ones. After purchasing what? The chickens, they turn blue, I guess. Like if you buy a bunch of chickens, one will be blue. I, I don't know. That doesn't sound right. Yeah, I don't think so. Because whenever you purchase the chicken, it tells you in text at the top of the screen if it's going to be a white or brown chicken. So I thought it was like once you got enough hearts with Shane, you can potentially get them to be blue. Oh, congrats, Landon. Yes. But do we have to have a certain number of chickens first? Is that what you're saying, maybe? Um, no, it's just saying that you can, of the white and brown chickens, one of them will randomly be blue. Oh. But yeah, that doesn't sound right to me. It's just something I read. Yeah. I feel like I have definitely, like, spammed... The same thing I'm doing now before to get a blue one. That I didn't just buy a bunch of chickens and get it, but I don't know. Maybe I did. And it was just a luck thing. Or maybe it's changed in later patches, you know? 25% chance your chicken will be blue. Oh, okay, 25% chance. Even then, you should have hit it by now. Yeah. yeah. That does make me think that I've misunderstood something, and that I do need to just buy the chicken. How many chickens we got right now? Uh, I think we only have... Two? Okay. Because we have two rabbits, a dinosaur, and two ducks. Mm -hmm. And then two chickens? Yeah. I think so. Shane is always by the fire, even when he's in the bar. I wonder what the story is. Yeah. He uh, he loves to stand by the fire. It's his favorite.
So I guess I'll just try buying a chicken and see if it turns blue. Will your chicken turn blue? <laughs> Let's find that's out. The question, that's the question of the day, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I guess you can sell it if it doesn't. Yeah. I do love that we were all on one side of the bed and Shane was on the other. <laughs> right, three days. Oh, goodness for gracious. Hey! I got money for making it to the bottom of the mines. Oh, nice. okay, so you did because end up getting a completion. I yeah, because I had done it prior to getting the thing, and it still gave me money. Nice. Now we're loaded. That's Nugget, Snocko, Liquors. <gasps> okay, so we have a black chicken, we have white chicken, two brown chickens. I forgot we can only fit chickens. eight things in here, right? I think so. Okay, I'm gonna sell liquors. Buy liquors. Can't send them to a farm upstate because we're already in a farm. Exactly. We are we are the farm upstate. Well, what truly happens, I mean, I know we don't want to talk about it, but what truly happens <laughs> on a farm is that we don't sell Snickers. We <laughs> we eat them. There and was an delicious. earlier version. There was an earlier version of Stardew where like that was a little rural mechanic in the game. And um, and it was taken out because it was not chill enough. I understand that my some people might not feel like that chill. I would have appreciated it. Yeah, I think it would have been fun. Because I crave violence, but also because it's like, hey, it's an important night. And so we're having chicken tonight for dinner. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. What'd you do? Oh, I was just going to see if I can get blue, but I probably can't because I I'm not just because you're with Shane doesn't mean that we all get it. Oh, yeah, you have to have a certain number of hearts with him to even get them to come up. Which now I'm wondering if, like, maybe... Eight. I wonder... Do you have eight? You married him. Yeah, I mean, I married him, so I have I have eight. I have ten. What if you but... didn't? What if you married him and had none? <laughs> Surprise! I don't, I don't think that's possible, Landon. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I guess I'm just gonna buy this, because I keep rolling white and brown, and I don't really know what's what's going on with that. You know what, before I buy this, before I buy this, we're gonna Google Gamer this shit. Do it. Okay. I am Blue proud of you. Chicken Guide. Alright, Steam community, you seem trustworthy. Tell me how to get blue chickens. No, I was doing it right, because there's a screenshot of literally where it says, choose a coop for your new blue chicken in the text. Okay. So I was doing it right. I'm just very unlucky. Statistically, an anomaly, one could say. Yeah. Because if it's supposed to be 25% chance, I should have definitely gotten it by now. Yes, you should have. Yeah. Yeah.
I wonder if there's something like weird with the mechanic on a co-op farm or something. Like it's heart checking all of us or our average or something like that instead of just me. Hmm. I have two hearts with Shane. Oh, it says I'm, I'm married to him. It says you're married to him oh because I am? Hold on. No, it's it says married, not that I am. I just realized. Oh, oh, it says oh. that he's married. Okay, yes. So you can't marry him. I was just about to be like, oh my god, does it say I'm married to him with no hearts? Because then it fucking happened. <laughs> I got so excited to prove Karen wrong. <laughs> yeah, the, the NPCs, you just can't have, um, you have to mod it if you want multiple people to be able to marry the same NPC in a co-op farm. But there's a mod for that too, I'm pretty sure. That'd be fun. The goat's udders are unsettling. They really are, it's true. Goat setters in general are settling. I don't know. <laughs> Goats in general are just weird. World domination. There's an app for that. That's true, Lunar. That's true. You can do anything instantly with an app. I would want a reverse harem mod. And all the boys will come to my milkshake. Or whatever it is. <laughs> you can do you can do I, that. that you there are there are mods that you cuz if you like date them but you don't marry them, then you can actually you can in the game date multiple of them, but they'll they'll eventually find out and there's this scene where they all get mad at you and break up with you, but um you can do get a mod that mods that scene out. That's very funny. Also, I think that that is my top genre for reading this year. Harem? Reverse harem? Reverse harem. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. Give us your Rex. Oh, do... I'm not sure we're ready for that. <laughs> uh, I have not... I I do an end of the year like Spotify wrap up, but it's of what Landon read this year. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's definitely, I think I'm at 153 books this year. Wow, I feel like that's even oh, more yeah. than last year. It is more than last year, yes. Okay, because I feel like you were Which somewhere is... 100, like lower hundreds um, last year. Yes, I think I hit like 110 last year. Yeah, so that sounds right. My goal was kind of to hit like 150. Wow. Yeah. That's like two books a um, week. It is. Uh, however, I will say Omegaverse has definitely taken the top of that, uh, <laughs> of, of any sort of, uh, wreck or, uh, <laughs> we're on the same page. Lunar, yeah, Lunar's giving you some applause for that. Cause long Thank fanfics you. still count for your list, right? Uh, yes. Although I will say that I haven't read a fanfiction since April. Oh, okay. So, so it Omegaverse is like all like been... novels really novel yeah that kind um which has been fun uh and reverse harem omegaverse is by far superior wow and i just need all of the racks for that because i'm reading through everything and i'm gonna end up writing one because i'm gonna be upset that no one's doing it correctly <laughs> Is that how it is? Like, you feel like the published ones are just not hitting it for you? You've read some so many, of, you're looking for that gem that doesn't exist? Man, some of them hit awesome. Some of them do, like, I'm like, oh, you actually, uh, you know, appreciate women's rights and want to write, not just smut. And some of them are just not that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think we need two separate lists. They can both go in the NSFW section of the the Discord of Ooh. like um the just smut Rex and then the actually like um progressive Rex. All right, I can do that. Yeah. 
Because I feel like I feel like we would all appreciate that. The uh, who what what is feminism? Question mark. And then the like, oh, <laughs> well, this is actually written by a woman who doesn't hate other women. <laughs> a rare commodity. Truly. My favorite thing right now, because I love audiobooks so much, is graphic audiobooks. Have you guys ever yeah. read? Yeah. Oh Re- I've God. never read a graphic audiobook. Uh, I'm thrilled because uh, this year, um, what's my call it? Uh, a Court of Fourth Silver Wing. Flames oh. and Fourth Wing both got graphic audio books. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think you'd really love them, Karen, because they hire different actors. Uh, different, like there's a different actor who plays like the narrator versus even if it's an eye point of view that plays the like narrator versus when she's actually speaking when the character's speaking. Um, different actors for all the other uh, characters, music in some mm-hmm. of them, background noise in some of them. So like Heavy it's an, like an audio book, but it's like a radio play, but it's an audio. Yeah, book. so it's like it's like a movie audio book. Wow, I, I, that sounds it's, cool. Like, okay, because that yeah. used to be a thing, you know, radio plays before television yeah. used to be a thing. It sounds like they've kind of recreated the idea of a radio play, but just through a, reading a book. Yes. And, in that style. And they did it. They, yes. It's it's very similar to that because um, it, it is of that style because, well, like audiobooks obviously still need to exist because they get produced and come out at the same time as a novel and this one might be like a year or two after the novel is published right because they'd have to hire multiple multiple people for the different parts yes. so you have to have at least three or four actors to cover lots of parts exactly um but they're they're pretty popular um and they're all currently because they're like on the rise for the most part the companies that put them on are fairly small and not like you know fortune 500 companies um or or have like a parent companies they're pretty indie still okay so landon where do i get the fourth wing one because i'm about halfway through twilight now and so i might need something else i will you, i will it's send pre-order my phone only. Is dead oh pre-order it, only it comes out i think it comes out january oh okay december okay. 24th i only know december 24th it. okay oh, okay so it comes out right before christmas that one um, and it's only part one, right? Because they split it into part one and part two. Oh, so yes. it's ha- the first half of the book. It's the first half of the book. Oh, but well, never mind. I, I wouldn't like... get it until part two came out then. But I'll Google those and see which ones exist. Yeah, absolutely. And it's called graphic audiobooks? Graphic mm-hmm. audiobooks. I wonder why I it's love it. the word graphic. That doesn't really make sense to me. Um, yeah. It's yeah an, it's a good question. An, it is a great question why they chose that that one. <laughs> Because it is, what, it, go ahead. I was just gonna say the the really sad scenes are where like when the character is like intensely crying or screaming, and you hear that in their voice yeah. while they're doing it. Oh, it kills me. I cry. Yes, Oops. that sounds so good. It. I it want is that. Nice. Uh, I will also say spicy scenes are very interesting too. Well, uh, spicy because... scenes are interesting on any audiobook. Um, yeah. I, I the it's I'm I'm very picky with that type of performance. Some people do a good job. Some people are, um, yeah, <laughs> leave something to be desired. I I will say that these ones in particular are, uh, you know, graphic when it comes to that. Mm-hmm. So sometimes it's just you're just like, am I listening to something I should not be listening to right now? <laughs> uh, <laughs> is this what is happening? Um, and it is, it's a little bit of a, you know, head spinning thing. That's too funny. But it's That's a lot of funny. fun. I'm going to have to check that out. That does absolutely sound up my alley. Yes, do it. Mm. I have got the best, most funnest thesis statement brewing, by the way, for Twilight, for the first Twilight book. I cannot wait to share it with you guys. Oh, you have to I come back in s- January for our Twilight episode. And I haven't even started reading Twilight yet. I am so scared. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. I've got, I've got the coolest thesis. I'll tell you later, viewers. Okay. You get to know um, when it gets before everybody to time. else. Yeah, oh, good. but I'll tell, I'll, Landon. I'll tell you sooner. Oh, good. 
I haven't read yeah. them since they came out. I yeah, me either. And I was I a hater either. at the time. So like this is a this is a brand new experience. And I was a twy hard. Yeah. <laughs> Your girl really liked Twilight. Well, it's right up your alley, you know, in so many ways. You so know, I get why baby Landon was, like, enamored. I would like to think that my palate has refined itself a little bit. Uh, what am well, I talking well, about? I was sure, just talking but... about reverse harem uh, <laughs> Omegaverse a second ago. I lied to you. My palate has not uh, been <laughs> well defined at all you know since what? then. Everybody needs to have McDonald's sometimes. Okay. Or, yeah, that's true. You're right. Not yeah. at their new prices. Oh, oh my, my god, that's god. true. <laughs> so expensive. I'm like, yeah, why I is that sushi for this price? What is happening? Yeah, we can go. We can go to Publix and get like the Publix catering platters for basically the same price. It's ridiculous. I'm like, oh, this is supposed to be cheap. Oh no, I got the Shane drunken scene. Oh, it's so sad. That is a sad one. Yeah, this one's so sad. I like the wolves. I like the wolves in Twilight 2 Lunar. Even when I was a hater as a kid, I thought some of the certain mechanics that were used for the wolves in those books are pretty cool. It was like that's that was like the one the redeeming mechanics. thing in my opinion. Sorry? I don't approve. We I got to save it. I got to save it. Yeah, save it. Spicy takes. You'll got to come back in January to hear those. I'm sorry, Kitty, I cut you off. Uh, did anybody else need pale ale? I have it. Yeah, I do need some if you need if you have more than one. I do. Okay, yeah, save one for me. I gotta talk to Pam. You know what's so sad because I already married him and usually I, I get this I end up triggering the scene before marrying him. It's now like I married him and he's like sharing with me his deepest, darkest secrets. Oh. Now that he trusts me. You can save him. I try and to. I trying. Don't worry, Shane, it gets better. Ish. <laughs> Well, he doesn't have to live in our world, so for him it can get better. Oh, that's fair. It, it, is, it does get better <laughs> in this world. It's Stardew ba Valley, right? Yeah, in the world of Stardew Valley, it literally does. What happens when you change your profession again? Oh, you work at JoJo or something? Money. Sorry? Uh, when you go in the sewers, you can pay money to change your profession. Oh, I think it just changes like what achievements you chose, right? Oh. Levi is cooking something right now that smells so good. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Have him send whatever it is to me. I want some. Okay, I'll tell him. Thanks. Yeah. Since it's our last one, I'm going to get a star drop. Yeah, yeah, do it. You bought the. You got the one that you buy. Mm-hmm. Magical. It's strange, but the taste reminds you of you. Oh, I forgot that <gasps> was my favorite thing. That's what you wrote? You're your own favorite thing? <laughs> I tasted myself. <laughs> wow. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh, Kitty. <laughs> this is, I'm sorry, Kitty. This is a PG-13 stream. <laughs> it is not that. a PG-13 stream. It has never been a PG-13 stream, ever. <laughs> That's amazing. 
I'm going to I'm going to write that next time I want to spin up a new Stardew Valley farm. <laughs> And I guess to make the text right, you'd have to write you. It reminds you of you. Mm -hmm. If you write me, then it doesn't make any sense. It reminds you of me. Oh, God. <laughs> Terrifying. There's a lot of magic in this game for a farm game. Where's the pale ale? Oh, I put it in the chest at the at the main farm. Okay. Yep. I see it. Thank you. All right, Pam, I come in with your booze. Landon wants a taste too, she said. Yeah. What is it? Oh my god, it's so good. What is uh, it? What is it called? Steak Pizzoli? Steak Pizzoli. He's never made it before, but he found a recipe and it's like a tomato, a like garlic vinegar sauce. Oh my god, I just tried it. It's amazing. So good. Oh, it looks good. I just looked it up. Yeah, I've never oh. tried it before. I don't know anything about it, but apparently it's it's a way to serve steak, serve steak over pasta. Two of my favorite things, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would eat this. Yeah, I'm going to. We I have a Christmas party I'm going to tonight where they're going to feed me, but I'm a, I'm going to eat at home and just be a little late to the party. I'm just saying. <laughs> Do the thing. It's called what, Levi? Oh, steak pizza Ola, he says. Nice. Oh, yeah. Ola. 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 <laughs> oh, and coming and joining me fishing? Yes. Wow, it's fishing way to time. catch something. Oh, I gotta see. Really fast there. I wanna see Shirtless Willie. If you see him, oh, tell yeah. me. You have to see it on the stream because it's my mod that does it. And it's just a visual mod. So I don't think y'all can see them. But yeah, I have a mod that makes everybody have seasonal clothes. I think he, let me see if he's inside his thing right now. Oh no, is. it's locked. It's too late. Alright, I think we need to skip the next day so that we can get to um, harvesting our cabbage. Nope. Yeah. So we'll do two sleeps. Do we want to, like, do things like eggs and stuff like that, the things that are daily, very quickly, or do we not care? I don't Probably care personally. Matter. Do you care? Okay. I don't care. So we just go to sleep, wake up, come out and water the cabbage, then go back to sleep. Leo. Perfect plan. Here comes Landon. Oh, and Karen. 
Sleepover. Level four farming. Nice. Aww. You still progress quite a lot, considering I know there was a lot of, there was a long time where you couldn't stardew with us. I could not stardew. All right, time to go water the cabbage. The cabbage is light, the cabbage is love. Oh, wait, I get a Shane scene. Ooh. Oh, maybe Ooh. you can kill chickens now. I'm really sorry about... Oh, he's apologizing because I got the cliff scene yesterday and I took him oh. to the, the hospital. Oh, God. He's going he's to gonna get into now. therapy. Good job, Shane. I'm so proud of you. Shane? Oh, Shane? Yay, therapy for Shane. <clears throat> All right. Oh, it's raining today, so I don't have to water the cabbage. Perfect. Oh, my God. Shane. Shane is in his underwear. <laughs> what the heck? Why are you in your underwear, Shane? I guess he does. He probably doesn't realize Landon and Kitty kind of live here, too. He's, He's all our husband now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is it harvestable? It's harvestable! Yay! Do we all sh go to the community center? Yeah, probably. Shane's not getting out of bed. I don't Shane's think in therapy's bed still. working. Uh, Shane, what are you doing? Oh, he's sleeping in. That's okay, everyone deserves to sleep in sometimes. He had a rough day. His eyes are open. Yeah, he chillin'. <laughs> it's okay. All right. All right, you come into the community center? Yes, I just had okay. to learn how to make carp surprise. Oh, yeah, yeah, I had to do that, too. All right, let's go. go. Last turn in. Oh, I have, I have little legs. Is it this one? Oh, no, it's, it over here. it's over here. Yeah, it's this one. Oh, bundle complete. Are you in immediately in the cutscene? Because I think I might. Oh have no, to be it doesn't. I don't think. I don't think oh, it starts no. until the There's... morning. I'm in, I'm in the crazy Jumino <laughs> cutscene now. Did y'all get it too? Yes. Yep. The last bundle. Farewell, Landon. <gasps> Restored. Amazing. Oh. Jumi knows. Bye. Goodbye. The Juminus have returned to the spirit world. Wow. Okay, then we get the final cutscene um, tomorrow. So, do we want to go ahead and sleep and see it? Yeah. 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 yeah? Okay. Let's let's get rid of the bad stuff in this town. Yeah. Bad Help juju. We're about to do it, guys. We're about to accomplish our mission: getting rid of Jojo. Aren't you so excited, Pam? Pam should be very excited. She don't even know how much better life's about to get real soon. Shane's so dead. Aww. He had a really long sleep in today, okay? <laughs> he had a rough night. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta sleep, you know? Yeah. Hey, go us! Fishing. 
Yeah, I sold I sold some stuff as we were walking by. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's go. <clears throat> we go in the center again? Mm -hmm, I think we go in the center to see it. There was also mail, so I don't know if that had anything to do with it. Oh, I guess we'll find out if we walk in the center and nothing happens. Maybe we go check our mail. <laughs> Uh-oh. Mm, okay, how do we trigger this? Damn. Maybe it has to be after a certain time of day. I do too. Doesn't, oh, never mind. I was gonna say, doesn't happen when we go to sleep, but I don't think so. But well, we just did sleep, so. Okay, oh yeah, it is. You're right, Landon. We did need to read this piece of mail. I got my mailbox is so far away. <clears throat> oh, accept quest. Oh, that's. Oh, that's that was not. not. Yeah. Everyone isn't talking about your generosity. Now we go back? Maybe. Let's try it. I'm gonna wait for y'all. I'm running. Should have had coffee. <clears throat> no? Okay, hang on. Let me just what? Google this. We can try another sleep. Yeah. So we open the mail. Oh, it's because it's raining. It's not triggering because oh. it's raining. Oh. So we need to sleep again. Damn it. Pam, get excited. Okay, tomorrow. Tomorrow's the day. Hey, Shane. Oh. Hi, Shane. Yes, we're going to bed at two at ten a.m. Shane, don't judge us. <laughs> you slept till this time yesterday, so <laughs> true. Oh, I got Mail. a cutscene. Marnie! I didn't. I've unlocked the back room of the shop. Come by for Willy. Oh, and another piece of mail. Oh, and I got another cutscene. I got one with Gus. Oh, because we just got a big friendship bonus from that last turn in. So that's probably why some of us are getting uh... random cutscenes. Not me. I have no friends except y'all. <laughs> Honestly, same. <laughs> For real, though. It's spicy chili from Gus. I love his sweater. I haven't seen him in such a long time. <laughs> Sorry, Gus That's has good. a lot to tell me. Oh, he gives me no, two box. Okay. We're just sitting, waiting, patiently. Ooh, so cute. Okay. <clears throat> K, 
Okay, I'm just checking my mail just to make sure the mail's not going to trigger something. And of course, because I've got the friendship bonus, I got a zillion new recipes. <laughs> and I got sh sashimi recipe. Okay, there. Yeah. Did all my mail. Wow. She's so popular. It's so popular. It was a lot of mail. <laughs> Everyone it's because I have a her. mod that doesn't decay my friendship. There we go. Yay! Balloons! Marnie, you look beautiful. Look at how happy Marnie is. Marnie is so happy. She's so excited. She missed the community center so much. Oh, look at that! Oh, you can see Emily down in the arts and crafts room. Magic of friendship. I Even love George is here. Oh, Willie has clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> he does right now. He has a tank top on. Everyone in town is pleased. The Stardew Hero Award! Yeah. Hell yeah, we're heroes, you guys! Feels so good. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Uh-oh, sales have been plummeting. Oh no, I could not have foreseen this outcome. No one likes you anyway, Morris. Oh, Pierre's about to throw hands, though. Super, Let's yeah. Let's settle this the gold-fashioned way. Pierre's <laughs> not much better, though, because, like, he still wants to just make a lot of money, too, and he's a liar. He's just not as successful as Morris at it. All right. Oh, yeah. Time to fight. Love this. Oh my God. Even George in his wheelchair. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's oh, so excited to see a fight. <laughs> <laughs> did any of us choose to be more reasonable or did we all say like, fight, fight, fight? Oh, oh fight. Yeah, yeah that's what I said too. <laughs> I do love watching two middle-aged men badly fight each other. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Except for when that happens. Get him. Rocket <laughs> bla blasting off again. <laughs> the sunglasses. <laughs> Never heard from again. Oh my god, guys. You didn't know Pierre could punch like that, did you? Go us. We wow. did the thing. Yay! Proud of us. No more Joja. No more Joja Mart. Oh, I like that. Yeah, let's put our trophies right here. Beautiful. Wow. I love it. <laughs> All right, you guys. And um, that, that concludes Stardew Valley. We're just going to go to sleep so we can save. And, uh, and and that was the finale. We did it. We restored the community center. Um, we married Shane. Uh, we, we did all the things. All the best things. Mm -hmm. We met all of our goals. Ooh. And we everyone walked in other lived people's dreams. happily mm -hmm. ever after. It's true. Everyone lived happily ever after at this point. In one big bed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> go to sleep. Perfect day. Perfect day, perfect year in a few months. Alright. Okay. And that's it. Let's we'll switch back to just webcam. Alright, you guys. So we are gonna we are gonna end the Stardew adventure here. Thank you so much. Everyone that uh, that followed us along this year and some and like well like two years that we've really been playing it. 
but like a little over a year kind of. I'd have to go back and look at when we started Stardew, but um, but this was awesome. And thank you, Landon and Kitty, and also Kendra, who was here most of the time but could not be here today, um, for coming on this journey with me. Of course, and it has been a blast. Excited to see what adventures await us next. Yes, yes. Thank you so much for the applause, Kitty. Thank you. All right. Oh, take it live another week. Is there <laughs> anything you guys would like to plug before we end this today? Uh, yeah. I have a I have a fun little book out uh, called The Lessons I Paid For. It's a uh, it's a uh, poetry book, briefly made number one in new LGBTQ poetry. Very fun really for that. Uh, Wait, yeah. how many days were you yeah. number one? <laughs> oh, just one. <laughs> oh, but still, that's amazing! That's awesome. Congratulations! Thank you. It was very fun. I have the screenshot to show it. Yes. Uh, and so, no, it was awesome. And it's been really fun watching people read my work and give me feedback and also like connect to it and recommend it to friends. So please, if you feel like supporting an artist, support me, please. Yes, uh, it's linked in the chat. On... You can click that Amazon link and that'll take you to Landon's new book. Yes, you can also find me on uh, TikTok and on Instagram at Land in Maine. Yes. And Kitty, is there anything that you would like to promote or shout out before we end today? I would like to say about Landon's book, because I have my copy. <gasps> I have my copy, I... too. It's over there, so I can't easily grab it. But I did last week and showed you guys and flipped through it. I put it next to my chair that I read my stuff in. And Aww. my tuxedo cat sat at the arm of my chair and just stared at it for such a long while. <laughs> cat like, approved. <laughs> yes. Cat approved poetry. I love that. That's right. Magical. Yes. That's amazing. Got a good energy. Kitty cat approved. <laughs> Yes. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and end the recording here and live on Twitch. We're going to take a break. So for y'all watching the recording, thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day. And don't forget to be awesome. Woo. Bye. Bye. bye.